Sleep well? Mm-hmm. Like a log. Good. No one asked letters this morning, then? Doesn't matter, even if there was. Me and Carla got something special. That's why she's doing it. I'm not going to let a couple of poxy letters get in the way. Yeah, it's only words, isn't it? It's a bit sad, really. Tea in the pot. I'm going to go and watch telly. I better go to the shop. You coming? No, in a minute. I'm going to get the sheep sorted for tuppy today. Are you up for it? Sorry, mate. I'm meeting someone for an hard day's drinking. Do you think you'll be back for your tea? What's it to you? Well, I just don't see that much of you, that's all. Well, maybe, but it's unlikely. Right, see you later then. Well, see ya. Mm. I don't understand why having just one extra person here should quadruple the laundry. I mean, it's not as though you wear anything but T-shirt and jeans, and they're under your overalls. There's the overalls as well, of course, and I suppose you change every evening, but I think it's more your habit of wearing things once. Can't you wear things twice sometimes, Scott? Scott? Did you say something? You haven't listened to a word I've said, have you? I said, can't you wear things more than once sometimes? Make less washing for me. Mum, I don't even want to have this conversation, all right? Call over to Dawn to see how I can help with the redecorating. Oh, great. Help Dawn, why don't you? But don't help your poor old mum. That's a hand wash, by the way. <sighs> all right, love. All right, look. I'll be there tomorrow night, yeah. No, I can't come any sooner. I've got things to do here. All right, I'll be with you tomorrow then. Bye, love. Oh, Granny Clegg, her other hip's gone now. I'll have to go there tomorrow. Oh, stupid woman. Hey, you will be back for when our sham gets shown, won't you? Just you try and stop me. Oh, well, that's all right, then. Now then, ah, you've got it. That's what I wanted. Sam's name changed. Hey, I am looking forward to having him home. Aye, we'll have a right good do for him. We've already got enough money for the food. Aye, that's just from the winnings from the match. <laughs> <laughs> you all right, Shadrach? Oh, yeah, I'm fine, thank you. I was just thinking how much I've been looking forward to our Sammy's return. Oh, have you? Yeah. Now, unfortunately, I might not be able to make the party. Oh, well, why not? Because I might not be here. There you are. How often do you wear your clothes, Emily, before you wash them? I beg your pardon? Oh, look. Might be able to find out if I was right about Debbie and that, Ethan. Mrs. Hall. Hello, Daz. How's things up at the farm? Just generally, she means. No, I don't. I mean, how's Debbie? OK. It's just that we uh, saw her having what looked like a bit of a lover's tiff last night. No, we didn't. Are we right? Has Debbie found herself a rather unsuitable boyfriend? Look, I don't know nothing about it. I think that proves it, don't you? No. It proves something's going on. Here you go, then, Dad. If you could just sign me the first half dozen. Oh, I thought we were all up to date with the bills and things. Didn't I just sign a few checks the other day? Oh, no, sweetheart, you're getting confused. That was ages ago. Mm. Right. That's it. And you leave everything to me. I don't want you worrying about a thing, not a thing. Well, apart from getting yourself better, that is. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Just one more. Hi. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, not at all, love. You're always welcome. Come in. I'm just clearing my desk. Oh? Charity and me, we're off for a couple of weeks in Spain. We're staying with George and Anne. Mm, look at you. I'm not so sure that Charity thinks so. It could be disaster. She and Anne didn't exactly hit it off. Anyway, what can I do for you? Well, I wanted to leave some fabric samples at home farm for when Sadie gets back, but Jimmy wasn't in. No, he's out seeing a client. You can leave them here if you like. Stick them in the cupboard. Great. Well, they're in my car. Uh, Chloe has sorted out for you. Do you like coffee? Uh, go on, I'm just going to have one. Stay and have a chat. Um, all right then. Have you heard from Carl? Today. 
The kids sent me a really great card. Well, I got those figures you wanted. Right, Clay. Those fabric books? <laughs> They're in my car. I'll go and get them then. You're no bro? No, sir. So yourself. Why won't you become a true Sam's party then? Not needed, am I? Needed? <laughs> Blimey, no. Why would we need you? 50% more booze if you're not there. Yeah, that's what I thought. You know, I was thinking, and I thought all the jokes and all that were just that jokes. But now I realise. No, now I know. You don't want me here, so I'm leaving. I'm moving out for good. Well, I'd better be getting back. I've got loads to do before oh, they... you might fancy a little snack. Oh, nice idea. Well done, Bob. Well, it seemed like you were having a good old chat. I was just leaving, actually, and I'm not very hungry. Hey, come on, she's poured the coffee now. You can stay for a bit. Mm, OK. Um, would you mind if I nipped out for five minutes? I won't be long, only I think I've left the back door open at home. No, of course not, love. You might as well take it as part of your break, since it's nearly lunchtime. <laughs> His real name's Ebenezer. Ah, oh, but he reformed in the end, didn't he? Right girl, that. Isn't she just? <laughs> oh, where is he now? Well, he says he's taking his farewell of his favourite haunts in the village. That'll be the pub, then. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope he don't get so drunk he forgets to go. It'll take a lot. Mm, eh? I say it'll take a lot. Aye, well, I don't want to interfere with a man when he's made up his mind. You already have. He had already made up his mind. He wanted a dossier with us for good. Yeah, well, we didn't want that, did we? Well, I don't know. I sort of got used to him. He'd become a part of the place, like that chair hot dog. Hmm? Well, this is his home. No, it is not. It's mine. Well, uh, ours, I mean. No, no, it is as well, and you've driven him out of it. He is a dingle, after all. Well, it's too late now. Well, no, it's not. Hey, I've tried talking to him. What more can I do? You can drive your lights up to you. They stuck me on early lunch and I dropped home and there it was on the map. She must have just dropped it through the door. <sighs> Perhaps I shouldn't have bought it. Shall I just rip it up? No, no, no. Come on. Let's see what the sad cow's got to say this time. What's it say? Uh, what are you doing? It's none of your business. Don't talk to me like that. If it's her number you want, she's not at home. Of course she's not. She's just dropped it through the door. So where is she? Who? She's at the office talking to Tom. Maybe I should have told you that. I'll soon wait it out. Where do you think you're going? You can keep out of this. Chef, don't you walk out of here. I'm going out for lunch, remember? This won't take long. Oh, dear. She's so quick-tempered, isn't she? It's lovely and cosy in here. I could stay here all day. <sighs> Be great, wouldn't it? I can't take the whole day off work, though. Mm, sheep and miss you, would they? <laughs> yeah, they would, cheeky. I've got a lot to do. You could, though. What, without you? Wouldn't be much point, would they? Your dad. Sorting sheep? Yeah, I was. Just a bit hungry, so just been cleaning myself up and that. Well, I'll push the drink in anyway. Rubbish. Mate never turned up. Do you want to come? Yeah, I will, yeah. Hey, yeah. What are you doing home? Oh, it was double games, waste of time. Well, keep you fit. 
I'm fit enough. So, um, what are you doing back anyway? I got stood up. <clears throat> we had a um, double jog for this morning, even more pointless. Is that how you do, like? Yeah, maths is good, I'm all right at maths. Just pass us the cheese, please, Ken. Hey, just gets all that from me, you know. <laughs> Brains. Just don't go making a habit of it, you know, skipping scoop. No, I won't. But it's nice, though. I'm back early, you're back early. We could go to the pitches if you want. Or are you going to help Andy with the sheep? Give us a break, I just got in. Well, I suppose I could give you a hand, keep me fit. <sighs> hey, she'd be a liability, more like. <sighs> I don't mind. Well, I'm going to get changed anyway. Mm. Can't bear to be in these clothes another minute. What the matter? Oh, not really. That chair's better get back here soon, that's all. Anyway, this is on me. Oh, ciao very much. <laughs> now, I just wanted to thank you for pulling Shadrack out of the darts team. Winning that match made all the difference to Terry. He's like a new man. Oh, well, it's all worth it, then. <laughs> worth it? Why? Wasn't any trouble with Shadrack, was there? Hmm? Trouble? No, no, no trouble. <laughs> well, not a lot. Anyway, thanks for coffee. Oi, you! I beg your pardon. Running away before I got here, weren't you? What? You knew I'd come after you, didn't you? What are you talking about? You stay out of this. This is between me and her. What is? You have really done it this time. She's off a trolley. Don't go pretending you don't know what I'm on about. I don't. What is going on? Carl's latest bimbo. She's lost it. Completely off her head. How dare you bring my kid into it? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Why don't you just calm down? After what she said about and you can bog off. I haven't said anything about Aaron. Colleen! Let's not get carried away here. Yeah? Can you just stop the brawling on my doorstep? Come on now, let's just talk about this later. No, we're going to talk about this now. Talk? About what? You're just jealous of me and Carl. Jealous? Of you? Yeah, you're only doing it because you want him back. <laughs> oh, you must be joking. You're welcome to him. And he's certainly welcome to you and any other tart with... Or without a delinquent son. Chaz, what is going on? Oh, Chaz, stop it. What the hell is going on? I don't think there's any need to call the police. Oh, yes, there is. No, not if she apologises. I'm not apologising. She started it. She kept shoving me. Listen, if we call the police, it's going to be the worst for you. You're already bound over, aren't you? I don't care. I don't think an assault charge is going to look well on your record. Well, then I'll bring a counter charge. She assaulted me first. She kept shoving me. I've got witnesses. Well, and I'm going to drag your name through the courts and into every single paper that'll listen to me. So go on. You call the police. Get her out of here. Come on, love, let's go inside. Crazy bitch! What did she do that for? She'll only tell Carl. She'll turn him against you. I'm going back to work. <sighs> she thinks Colleen's persecuting her or something. She won't listen. Now then, Shadrach, what's all this about? Oh, Lisa, I'm glad to catch you, you know. Say me goodbyes. You're not going anywhere? Oh, I am. I found out what you all think about me. Well, Zach and Kane, anyway, and I can't impose myself on you any longer. We don't think anything of you. I know. No, I don't mean it like that. I mean, we don't dislike you, Shadrach. You don't like me either. No, it's not that. When, when Zach left you out of the team, it wasn't because he wanted to make you feel bad. It's because he wanted to make Terry feel good. Here. Here's your lucky darts. Zach hid them. He hid me lucky arrows? Yeah, but he's sorry about it. He could have just told me about Terry. I'd have stood down. I wouldn't stand in the way of a man with a disability. No, the reason Zach didn't want me to play is because he didn't want me by his side. He didn't want me to win. He didn't want to see me happy. No, I'll, I'll pack me arrows and I'll move on. But I'll say one thing, Lisa. You never let me down. You're a real lady. You'll always have a place in me heart. Oh, 
this meal. Oh, oh shut up. I didn't want it to end this way. What must be, must be. Yeah, but uh, I'm really sorry you're going. Yeah, me too. Ah, yeah, right, uh, Shadrick, you're an irritating old beggar, and you get up my nose more than most. Darts. And I'm sorry now I cheated you over the darts. But you are my brother, and that's a blood chai. And, uh, this hearth is where you belong. Apology accepted. Hmm? I'm staying. You what? Just wait to hear you say it, really. Get out! No chance. You're my brother, and this earth is where you belong. <laughs> uh, cup of tea, please, Lisa. Blimey, very glamorous. Thank you. Actually, I didn't have that long to get ready. 30 minutes flat out. Are you going somewhere special? Yeah, I'm going out to lunch, actually. He's a lucky fella. Hiya, you ready? It's the prize for winning the darts match, if you must know. Mm, a meal out with Louise. Not that she's big headed or anything. Yeah, well, a meal paid for by the landlady. The meal being the focus rather than me. Don't you believe it? Well, fact is, uh, if we'd known that it was going to be Will Louise, we'd have seen it as uh, an added bonus. <laughs> I'd have been knocked over in the rush. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. <laughs> Very gallant. Yeah, you had to say that, didn't you? How's about going out with me instead? Fish and chips in autumn. Only take 30 seconds to get ready. Oh, uh, fighting over me now. Uh, now I better stick by the competition rules. Yeah, and besides, you've already had one unofficial break today. But from the sounds of it, that didn't go too well. So I think you better stay put, don't you? Have a nice time. Ta. Yeah. Make a lovely couple, don't you think? Yeah, thought you'd found someone better. Here we are then. Oh, fantastic. No way to sit. Yeah, we're through it though. Cheers. Well, I'm hoping if I can make it look a bit better, I can up the rent. My mum's not giving me any money anymore, so I'm going to have to take a lodger in. Oh, well, I, I might be looking for a room. You? Yeah, it's called matricide, isn't it, when you do your old woman in? <sighs> it's either a room or a cell. Well, I, I don't think so. I don't think it'd be a good idea. Oh, well, why not? <sighs> you know... <laughs> you know, we've got a lot in common, me and you. Kids, sense of humour. Don't taste and paint. Well, I think about it. Thanks for helping me anyway. It's great. Oh, I've enjoyed it. Oh, hi, Esther. Hi. Some cans to take out, just please. How are you doing, Lisa? Oh, fine. Mm. You having a booze up at the factory? Oh, no. All oh, these are for Zach and Shadrach. Either that or bang their heads together. <laughs> How's Alan? Oh, you know. Oh, seeing him like that, it's pitiful. He's such a big man, and yet he's so frail. Not so much physically as, as mentally. And it's the mind that counts. That's right. I mean, he doesn't seem to know sometimes what's real and what isn't. Well, anything I can do to help, any time. You're doing enough as it is, Lisa. Are you up? Well, I don't know where Debbie is. She, you know, must have gone off with some for mates. She came home at lunchtime. Double games or something. Where's Andy? Working. Carrying sheep. Debbie's with him. <sighs> Mugs game. <clears throat> Hello? Yeah, that's me. What do you mean she's not been in school? Well, she was in this morning. Look, I know this afternoon she... Right. I see. No, I didn't know. Yeah, I'll have a word with her, all right. Hey! Seems Debbie's been skiving. Seems she didn't go to school this morning, neither. Didn't she? No, and you know she wasn't. Like, was she on the bus? I don't know. Look, I didn't see her. Well, you must be blind, cos it ain't exactly massive, is it, eh? I have to have words with her. Making me look like a prat. Oi! If I catch you covering for her again, I'm gonna have words with you. Right? Oh, it was lovely to have such a nice, long, leisurely lunch. Yeah. Oh, it makes a change from a packet of crisps behind the bar, eh? <laughs> well... 
I've got to go back to work now. Yeah, I know. Maybe we could do it again. Yeah, yeah, we could um, spend more time. Yeah. Blown it, haven't I? Well, let's hope not. I just wish I'd been quick enough to stop you. I'm such a prat sometimes. But it's not you, is it? It's her. And that letter. And then she was practically assaulting you anyway. Yeah, she was, wasn't she? She won't rest till she's won, you know. That's the type she is. She's out to destroy you and Carl completely. That's what it's all about. Oh, God, what's he gonna say? I don't know, but whatever you do, don't let him blame you. You've got to stick up for yourself. There's no need for you to apologise, is there? It's her fault. A cow. You know, I was really looking forward to seeing him. And I'm absolutely dreading it. <laughs> 